Let's talk about grout, like a stain-resistant grout, something that's easy to use, easy to clean, and has consistent color. Okay, so let's talk about grout. Grout is, you know, the finishing touch on your tile installation, whether it be a shower or, or a floor. So uh, today there are plenty of choices in grout. You don't just have to go with a cementitious grout, your regular grout, the modified polymer modified grouts. And you know, when you're using a, a, a cementitious grout, says you have to be really careful how you mix it and how you wash it and you know there there can be issues it's it's a good product i mean it's been used for many many years but today there are much uh many more options available and what i'm going to be using today is actually a an acrylic grout which is uh actually flex color flex color CQ by Mapei. Now this is an acrylic route. It's very, very stain resistant. It can be used pra practically anywhere uh, you install tile. There's some areas where you can't use it. You can't use it like in a steam shower. You can't use it in a, in a pool or a fountain in submerged areas. But um, pretty much uh, everywhere else you, you can use it. And uh, the color of the, the um, route is, is given by the aggregate in the in the material, it's not, uh, you know, it's not, not uh, given by the dyes. So the actual um, material that's given the color is a, you know, the the filler or the aggregate or the, um, uh, or the the sand type material that's that's in there. It's not actually sand. It's like a quartz material. So um, the color that you see here. Is the color you're going to get on your walls? It's, it, it won't change if you if you're using a cementitious grout and you and you mix it with too much you mix it with too much water or you don't mix it properly or you don't mix it long enough or you don't uh, or you overwash it when you're washing it you can the color that you saw uh, you're supposed to get can be actually washed out it can be mottled it can be inconsistent so you know as I said. Uh, cementitious grouts have been used for a very long time and if you if you apply it properly uh, it's, it's good stuff but you know today there are advances in grouts that can make your life a lot easier and they're much easier to clean up for example this, this one this grout here this flex color CQ is so this flex color CQ is very user friendly uh, it's easy to clean up usually um, you, you, you know you do one wash and you're done uh, you know, as long as you do follow the directions and you do it properly, uh, you're gonna do you're gonna do one wash and then you're done. And then, you know, you check out after you know an hour after it's dried, and if there's anything that needs to be, you know, if there's any residue left, then you can you know go back and clean that up. So and it's a very 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 stain resistant got ceiling to do. I got the wall to do, and I got a different color on the floor. So <clears throat> let's get to it. Okay, so when they um, when when using this grout here, they suggest using a medium to hard float. Now this is actually a pretty soft float. I don't know if you can see that. It's like it's really soft. This is this is the type of float I, I usually like to use. This is the hard float, much harder. And this is actually like a medium. So this is a different kind of float, but this is probably the one I'm going to be using. For this, um, for the Flex Color CQ, they recommend not using a, a soft float. So uh, I got soft, hard, and medium. So I'm going to use this float here. This is this is probably the most common type of float that most people use. Okay, so the recommendation also is to use a rounded sponge. The um, the Flex Color actually comes with a sponge in it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to actually use this sponge here. It's it's rounded, and then on one side it has the microfiber. On one side it just helps with cleanup. So what they want you to do is like wet the surface area, just you know, with a damp sponge. Just wipe the surface area, apply your grout, um, 
just go like, you know, because it starts to dry in like 10, 15 minutes. So you don't want to do more than what you can, you know, what, what you can clean up in, in 15 minutes. So I'm going to actually go do the ceiling, uh, spread the ceiling, and then clean that off and then move, move to the walls. So this actually removes any dust, any residue, and makes it easier for the route to be applied because it will slide over the joint. So I'm gonna press all right down. Dampen the ceiling. Now we're going to start routing. Ceilings are always hot to dump. So because it's taken me a long time to grab the ceiling, ceiling is just like that, I am going to actually start washing it right now. And uh, I forgot to put my gloves on, so I'm going to do that right now as well. Put my gloves on. I want you to go in a circular motion. To loosen it up. And it's already starting to get hot a little bit. So when you when you wipe it down, when you wipe it down, you're just gonna use one swipe, it should be in a diagonal, but there's not a lot of room in here. And then turn it over, use the other side of the sponge, another swipe, and then rinse it off. So one swipe, turn it around, rinse it off, and you can use both sides actually, so. And now, I'm actually gonna get clean water. This is clean water and give it
Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. And I'm going to try not to wear it. it right away because it's hot and up, up there because of the heat so it's gonna dry quicker these corners are gonna fill with caulk I'm also gonna straight that out And the ceiling is done. Okay, so the wall tile is going to be a little bit easier. Not going to, but as much as not going to be falling down as much because we're not working upside down. So let's do the walls. Okay, so when you're applying the grout to the joints, you're going to keep your float at a much lower angle so you can push it in, and then when you, uh, you know, have have the, the the grout in the joints and you're going to lift the the float to a much steeper angle uh, very close to 90 degrees and scrape off all the excess grout um, the more you can get off the tile while you're grouting the easier it is uh, going to be to clean uh, if you leave a lot of grout on the surface of the tile obviously it's going to take a lot longer to wash it off and clean it up so you want to you know fill your joint but also uh, as you're going along, scrape off as much as possible.
So you have to remember, this is not like a normal grout where you spread a large area, then you go back and you wash it off. You know, you let it set up for a little bit. This stuff here, you do small areas at a time. Depending on the ambient conditions, it's going to be somewhere around 50 square feet, but it could be less. When I was doing the ceiling, because all the heat of the, if the room was going to the ceiling, it was drying up pretty quick. So just take it into account. Um, do small areas at a time, 50, 40, 30 square feet, uh, and depending on how long it takes you to spread it out and get it, and get it done, and then wash it off immediately. Don't wait to clean off um, the grout. And, you know, you go with a circular motion and you loosen all the stuff off the, the face of the tile and then you wipe it down uh, going in one direction to clean off all the residue. And this grout, once you've finished with the initial wash, you're pretty much done. If you've done, a, done the job right, uh, you're pretty much done. You don't have to go back and, and, and clean anything else up. It's, it's finished. With the, uh, with the regular cementitious grout, what you end up always doing is you, you have an initial wash and then it dries off and you get a, like a, a grout haze on it and then you have to go back and wash it again. And sometimes you have to do that a third time. Um, with this stuff, once you've done washing, you're pretty much done. done the wall is done Okay, so I got a caulk in the corners, all the corners. However, the ceilings grouted, the walls are grouted, everything's grouted on the on the walls and the ceiling and the shower floor. Next is the bathroom floor. This is very small, so this is only about 36 square feet. So I'm actually going to spread the whole thing and because you don't want to do more than 50 square feet at a time with this, with this stuff here. So we're going to act because this is small, but just going to do the whole thing and then wash it down. And this is the, uh, a different color. Um, it's going to be a darker color. And so let's get right to it.
that is pretty much it. Okay, so I don't really much, use much of all, at all for this floor because it's a very small floor. You know, all along the, the, you know, the where the towel meets the wall and uh, where the towel meets the floor, there's going to be caulk, silicone caulk. But uh, for now, we'll just let this dry and cover this up like this. Well covered, close it up, and that'll last for months on a shelf. Okay, so the whole thing is grouted. Uh, of course, it's a tiny little bit wet, just a couple spots. And this is this is just one wash. You know, you wash it, and then you go over with a clean sponge, wipe it down, and that's it. You don't you don't have to wash it anymore. It's all there's no residue on the on the tile. It's all clean, and and good to go. Okay.